My indicator here is pretty much doing it here again. Well, basically, as you guys know, I have my own indicator and this indicator is absolutely, absolutely insane at predicting the bottoms and tops. It's almost like goddamn cheating the market. Over here, what you can basically see here is we got all these triangles here, which is again a signal that the wheels are buying. Whenever we see a triangle, this is an indication that wheels are buying. And we saw it here exactly at the bottom. We saw the top that wheels were selling. We got here this move to the downside. And now again, we are seeing a green triangle here form here on the bottom and we are really seeing a little bit of buy pressure showing up and potentially i think the bitcoin price is potentially about to have a significant move to the upside i basically prepared for this whole potential bottom scenario in advance i actually talked about this potential entry position even on youtube right over here i posted this as well inside the private channel i have multiple long positions open right now um, but this one was one that i publicly posted here on twitter i posted it even in you know on youtube but especially in the private channel i've been talking about this long position and right over here, I am right now in a long position. Added a little bit to this long position, but my total entry is here about 21,900 US dollars. So about right over here, exactly on the bottom. And this was something that I was looking at here weeks ago here, or well, not weeks ago, I, it was about two days ago. But uh, yeah, I was talking about this potential move to the downside and we exactly, we exactly got that. We faded here the low, and this is pretty much exactly what I think is going to cause Bitcoin to have a significant move to the upside. Now, we still want to break here above this previous high. We still have some levels here that I want to see break before, you know, I'm going to be very, very bullish on Bitcoin. You know, if we don't break those levels, don't come at me in the next video and say, Thomas, Bitcoin didn't pump. I'm just going to tell you what levels I'm right now watching here for more validation of a potential move to the upside. But first of all, this trend line to the downside is to me a very, very important validation level. And what you can basically see is just you, what we have here this falling wedge pattern. We had one move to the downside, one move, and then we have this smaller move here, which is pretty much like a three wave. If you like Elliott wave, well, this is a, a B, C, D, E, whatever it is, but um, it's very clearly, I, I'm not educated in Elliott wave, but it looks like one of those uh, three waves that everybody always talks about here. And I think it, we're gonna see here the price here moves to the upside, something like this. And then you can very clearly see a potential double bottom forming. Now, I wanted to look here for a smaller cross here on a daily time frame, let me actually look at it. Are we seeing that? No, no, we're not really. Oh, I should actually open the indicator. Why did it just remove the indicator? I have no idea. Let me actually remove the drawings right over here. Boom. No, we did not get that cross here on the daily time frame. Not even on other charts here on the Binance. No, just a last check. We don't get it here on Bitstamp. We don't even get it here on the CMA. Oh, we do have it on the CMA futures. Well, we have a cross on the CMA futures, uh, but that, that doesn't really count. Anyway, we don't really have that green cross. Maybe it's going to happen tomorrow. But basically, said well, basically said in the last weekend is that this week is probably going to be more sideways action. You know, even if we do break here from this range, we may see the price go up like this and then down and then maybe somewhere up like that. And maybe it's going to take until the next week before we're going to see that really significant move here to the upside. But yeah, I think we faded here the low. I think we're very clearly seeing that sellers are getting exhausted. We're having that triangle here on the four hour time frame. So I think that this is potentially going to form here a bottom pattern. Again, it may still take some time, but especially if we break here this trend line, we may start to see again some momentum here to the upside. What we did actually saw as well is that the stock market had a significant dump to the downside. Bitcoin didn't really react that well. We saw the dollar index have a significant move to the upside, which I'm going to talk about right now. But um, yeah, we also didn't saw Bitcoin react that well to it. So I think overall, Bitcoin is potentially up here and setting up for a significant move here to the upside. We're seeing that sellers are exhausted. And uh, yeah, we even saw funding rate going a little bit here to the downside, a little bit closer to zero, which indicates that a lot of short positions have been stacked up here around this level. Yeah, there's a lot of things right now that's what I'm looking at, but um, yeah, it looks like a very typical fading low level and then a impulse back here to the upside. So I want to see, first of all, that we break a trend line that I talked about earlier and I want to see it break out of this falling wedge. And then, well, if we're going to break out of this falling wedge, I think Bitcoin is going to have quite a significant move to the upside at the, at the end of the week. And at the start of the next week, that's when I think we're going to see a new uptrend here to the upside. Now, I'm going to talk about the dollar index, which I talked about here in the last video. And well, basically since that we got here, this move here to the upside, I basically had one target here and that was right over here fading the high, which is exactly, exactly, beautifully, beautifully as we did. This was the exact target that I had here on the dollar index. You can go back watch all the videos. This previous high, this was the level I was waiting for Bitcoin to hit. 
And we basically got it. We got it. We got it absolutely beautifully. And um, yeah, if I go back here, oh, what is happening to the chart? If I go back here, we're seeing that the dollar index has been in this downtrend. And as I said here in the last few videos, what very generally happens here on the dollar index is that the dollar index gets two moves to the downside and then it gets a new move and reversal back to the upside. And you always see that a significant rally happens here on the second move here to the downside. So this is what I said here in the last few videos is that this is potentially about to reverse it to the downside. And this is going to be the second move here to the downside. It's gonna take us maybe un until the summer, we're gonna see significant rally on Bitcoin. And then once the dollar index goes back to the upside, you know, because maybe we're gonna see some kind of a recession or whatever, whatever happens, then we're gonna see Bitcoin have another correction here back to the downside somewhere around the summer. So my prediction was, hey, we're gonna to go to 30K, maybe even up to 40,000 US dollar, which I'm not certain about, but hey, we're gonna see something quite similar here to 2019. Let me actually go back here. Let me actually close here my indicator really quickly. You can see a very similar scenario here in 2019. You got a significant move here to the upside here from the bottom. And then eventually you still saw that the price came back and actually crashed because of macro and macro economic environment and then eventually saw that this eventually resulted in a reversal back to the upside then we saw the halving and then we saw the bull run so i think we're going to see something very similar i think we're going to see first of all bitcoin bottoming out here go going to some high targets whatever thirty five thousand, and then around the summer we're going to see some kind of a crash we're going to see that the macro economy turns sour maybe we see some kind of a significant recession regardless of what's going to happen I, I still believe we're going to revisit here those lower levels and then we're going to go sideways maybe until the halving and then boom we're going to restart a new bull run so the longer term prediction may look something like this now there are some people which are saying like hey this is you know going to go boom here to 10k we're going to see something like this and then something to the upside i mean you know you could go of course all the directions you could go sideways you could go down here from here but i think that the most likely scenarios right now just looking at the dollar index is that you're going to see the dollar index move here to the downside. You're going to see that the Fed is going to continue to raise interest rates. And then, well, what you're going to see is you're going to see stock market rallying and then probably around the summer, somewhere around that, that's when you're going to see the significant crash. Everybody's predicting that there's going to be some kind of a crash. Everybody's talking about rate hikes, this and this and this, but I think a lot of that has already been priced in. And we're clearly seeing that the stock market is making some potential progress here to the upside. And even if we fade here this high, temporary here for maybe a few days, we go to this high and then eventually collapse here back to the downside. In my opinion, something like this would really likely, you know, a lot of people are predicting that the crash is going to happen right now, but if we're going to fade out this high, we're going to see a lot of shorts getting liquidated. A lot of people are going to turn bullish on the top and that's likely going to create that perfect environment here to start a crash. But when everybody's already buried, that's generally not the environment where you're going to start a crash. So this is my prediction. I think we're going to see more upside here until the summer and then stock market crash. Federal Reserve is going to Br, 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 the money printer here around September and then boom we're going to see that move here back to the upside and then we're going to restart this whole inflation cycle and the new Bitcoin bull cycle somewhere in 2024 so this year is going to be probably at the beginning quite bullish in my opinion and then we're going to see that crash so uh, yeah that's why I'm going to do this long position that's my target here higher 20k range maybe 30k maybe 40k I have no idea I think at least Bitcoin has right now bottomed and we're going to see a significant move here to the upside. I still got in my low position, which is up 60,000 US dollar. So uh, that was pretty much it here for this video. I mean, if you want to see all of my trades and you want to get access to my private indicator, there is a link in the description to my private channel. You also get access, of course, to the private indicator. And then, well, again, the private indicator, it's like cheating the market. It's an insane indicator. I just sh showcased it here in this video, but we've got a triangle here in the four hour time frame. And if you buy the indicator, you can get access to the indicator fully completely you can change the settings and you could test it out on altcoins on the stock market whatever you want so yeah in my opinion the market is looking juicy i think stock market looking juicy and uh yeah let's see at least here in a short time frame bitcoin is showing some signs of the bottom let's pray let's hope let's make some money together thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video bye bye